As video becomes more complicated with higher resolutions and faster transmission speeds, it's the production switcher that has to handle everything from Archive 480i assets to today's 4K UHD HDR images, while always being ready to handle what tomorrow will bring. With Grass Valley introducing this GVK Frame X video production engine, what does the X mean for you? And that means that from the EIC, you know, the engineer in charge, to the TD, to the planner, director, or producer, the X works and will, it'll work for uh, now and into the future in whatever on-air format of a signal uh, connection you have. Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Haley from Grass Valley at Belden Brand, and this is Five in Five, five questions in about five minutes. In this episode, we're going to talk with Greg Huddy, Vice President of Marketing for Grass Valley Switchers. Greg, why X? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, Tiff. Um, you know, for the scientists or the math equation user in us all, uh, we remember the X as the unknown. Uh, while for the rest of us, it's the, the unexpected, the excitement the, uh, in, that induces discovery. Uh, so X takes our users into a new realm of signal processing, uh, while adding to their power to create the most exciting on-air looks. Um, so uh, it's the X that makes the difference. As a worldwide industry, the majority of program providers aren't quite ready for IP or even 4K UHD. So why should the GVK Frame X matter them? Well, um, there's a difference between being ready to go on-air right now and a wish to be ready uh, as your market justifies those kind of changes. So planning a structured growth into uh, new on-air formats early, as early as possible, uh, that's important. And K-Frame, the GV K-Frame X, uh, certainly allows that um, with its connection to flexibility and um, the design and the user interfaces for every flavor of picture format. Uh, and that means that from the EIC, you know, the engineer in charge, to the TD, to the planner, director, or producer, the X works and will it'll work for uh, now and into the future in whatever on-air format of a signal uh, connection you have. What's the big deal about being able to mix SDI and IP signals? So the, the two signals, SDI and IP, have quite distinctive advantages over one another, and the value of the difference varies in different places. Um, certainly SDI is known and easy to handle signal classically routed with coax cables um, and they use robust you know that uses the robust and the easy uh, replaceable connectors that that everybody's familiar with b and c's uh, but as line and frame rates you know rise the frequency of the signals uh, it needs to carry become very high and and limit how how far they can reach um, ip connections are a way to free ourselves uh, from that short length problem by using a medium build for high frequency connections and which uses the fiber interconnect um, in signal in, in a single or a uh, multi-mode kind of format. And so the, the, the GV K-Frame X is the bridge between those two and with modularity, the input and the output boards that can also do, you know, they can do all SDI, they can do all uh, IP or they can do a mix of SDI and IP uh, just from the start. It's that future flexibility that's really important and required. Is the GVK frame X meant for studio use or truck use? I, I would say yes and yes. <laughs> uh, the X is made to be used for you know the high quality program without regard to where it takes place. Um, you know, cooling is a big factor when when you go into the IP world. So you know it. That, that sounds like a whatever to some people, but by making a streamlined front to rear cooling flow, we keep the, we keep the GV K-Frame X isolated within its own width inside the air conditioned portions, and therefore um, we aid that for the, for the people that are using. And it matters because in both scenarios, uh, it will not only be the, the, the single device that needs to be cooled, there's other devices that also need to be cooled in that thing, and you don't want heat to be spread laterally uh, away from any one piece of equipment. You know, that's in the trucks, but in studio centers, um, they're demanding places as well uh, because the site, you know, has their own requirements and it needs to be ready to make whatever show rolls into it and to provide live entertainment or news or chat or any other kind of show. What's the learning curve on the GVK Frame X? 
you know, for operators, in other words, the operator sitting in, tr in front of a control surface, whether it's a Cayenne or a Carrera or a Corona, um, they're familiar with those. And, you know, with that kind of panel or that kind of interaction with those operators going from a current K-frame to a K-frame X, there'll be no learning curve at all. It's the exact same operation. Um, so, and with the new adopters, um, often, you know, commenting on how easy it is to learn uh, a GV uh, product, our experience looks like that the training level goes down because it's easy to operate because of its menuing and things like that. Uh, so we maintain the exact same interfaces for panel and uh, the GUI. Uh, in other words, our menus operate the same, our panels operate the same. Um, we've, we've evolved the features and the new feature set that rolls from one switcher to another, so nothing is lost along the way. The engineering setup inside the menu, where when you go into the EIC mode um, of, of that operation, we have the addition of the IP, but it's easily understood routine with direct and bulk and offline and internal control of those IP addresses for setup. So it really doesn't matter whether you walk into a control room using a you know, a Corona or a Carrera or a Cayenne panel because under the hood, the K-frame looks the same. And that's five questions in about five minutes with Greg Huddy, Vice President of Marketing for Grass Valley Switchers. Thanks for joining us. I'll speak with you again soon.